Okay, I'm at the farmer's market. Hello, we're going to talk to somebody here. And what's your name? Well, my name's Sean Charles. Sean, okay. <laughs> and how's the campaign going? Look, it's been a, it's been a great campaign uh, since uh, the start of it. We're at the middle point now and you know to get out and to hear what New Brunswickers have to say and uh, to try to work to find solutions and how can move our province forward. I love campaigning. Yeah. I really do and uh, like I said it's been a great campaign with a great team of candidates. And Steve Murphy do not discriminate. Oh my god Roger <laughs> today, Albert last night and you I mean this was well, Steve, have, Steve is good. I have a lot of respect for Steve Murphy. You know, he gives a tough interview, uh, but, you know, he's fair. And, and you know, in the interview that he posed with me, a, a number of tough questions, I attempted to answer them the best that I could. And, you know, at the end of the day, this is all about how we can grow our economy, you know, bring our kids back home, and then I can reinvest those dollars into health and senior care. And he put me through my paces in oh, answering those questions. He, he sure did. Uh, listen, Sean, four years ago, do yeah. you remember how much millions of dollars or promises that you made or the opposition made? When, when we went through our election campaign in uh, in 2006, you know, we had a, a very uh, cost-conscious platform. Uh, today, 96% of those uh, platform commitments are, are in place or underway, which is something that we can all be you're sure, you're yeah, sure about that. positive. Okay. But then we got hit with a recession. Yes. You know, a big recession that I don't think anyone saw coming. Uh, and that's why we had to move into deficit spending in the midst of this recession okay. to build some infrastructure to create those jobs. And it's work. You know, look at the labor stats that came out this week, Charles. Uh, another uh, 1,700 jobs created in New Brunswick. You know, that's uh, 13,700 new jobs here in New Brunswick in the last four years since we came to office. You know, we didn't lose jobs like Ontario or Alberta. Uh, we, we saw a net gain of jobs, and that's why uh, we, we want to build on that. And 20,000 new jobs over the next four years, you know, I think it's a realistic goal. And, you know, when some of the naysayers out there say it can't be done, that it's a pipe dream, I just say watch us. I know, you've always been a fighter. Just yeah. no question about it. Leadership yeah. uh, of the party and Premier, same thing. But isn't there too many promises? Both parties. Isn't, isn't it, isn't it, what would you say to New Brunswick? that says it's ridiculous? Well, there's a clear difference today between the Conservatives and the Liberals. Uh, today, we have a plan. It's a simple plan. It's focused, but it will work. And that plan is to show how we're going to grow the economy, which generates the new revenue to pay for those new investments in health and senior care. And I think anyone who, who watches your, you know, your, your blog site, they would agree today that you know, how we can improve our health and senior care is, is one of the number one priorities. We need more doctors. We need more nurses. We need to lower the wait times for surgery. So that's what our commitment today is. What's missing on the Conservative plan is they're talking about their platforms close to a billion dollars of, of new spending investments, and they haven't told New Brunswickers how they're going to grow the economy to pay for that. So that means they're going to have to cut certain services and health care and senior care account for 40 percent of our budget so you know remember David Allward closed six rural hospitals when he was at the cabinet table remember at the same time that uh, they cut hundreds of beds out of the health care system you know that's not the direction that our government took over the last four years we've strengthened it there's more to be done we set that foundation and that's what separates us from them is we have a plan to grow the economy, to create those new jobs, to bring our kids back home, and to reinvest those dollars into health and senior care. Good, good point. One last, one last, one last question. I got a big debate on my blog. Okay. What do you say to people that say, "Don't vote because they uh, don't matter look, who, who, who is in there." It's critical that everyone get out to vote. You know, look, regardless of political color. I, I ran into a, a person the other night going door to door, and she said she couldn't vote. She said, she, you know that. She didn't have access to it. Now, with the new election uh, act in place, you can vote every day of this campaign. Uh, you can vote online. Yeah. You can vote uh, on campuses. So I encourage everyone to get out and 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 participate in one of the most important rights that you have as an individual, and that's to choose your government. Do you tweet, uh, Sean? I do a little bit. Do yeah. you do a little bit? I, I know you're not too, uh, four <laughs> years ago, you weren't too, you know. I'm, I'm just but, starting uh, to learn. Learning. Yeah. And the information highway is playing, it's playing a major, it is, it I does. mean, four years ago there was three bloggers. Yeah. There was no Facebook, there but was no, no Twitter. There's no blogger like Charles LeBlanc. Okay. Have a great day. Okay, <laughs> final word, thank you. Cheers.